Welcome to Day 5. I'm Nicole Baumgartner. And I'm Linda Baumgartner with Remax and Halliburton. And we're the Halliburton Real Estate Team. Today we're at the Halliburton Highlands Museum. Halliburton's so rich in history. Let's go in and learn a bit about it. We're here with uh, Kate Butler, the director of the museum. Uh, Kate, tell us a little bit about the museum. Well, the museum actually has a really long history, not quite as long as the history of Halliburton, but uh, we were established in 1968. Well, originally we started as a Canadian Centennial Project in 1967, opened in 68, and the museum has a fantastic main gallery building, which we're in right at the moment, all sorts of different exhibits uh, telling the story of Halliburton and the surrounding area. And we also have a whole series of historic buildings. So it's a house right next door, a Reed House, which dates back to 1882. And we also have a whole series of uh, farmstead buildings in beautiful Glebe Park, and they date back to the 1870s. There's always activities going on here. We're very busy with programming, as well as telling the story of Halliburton. During March break time, we make maple syrup, uh, which is ab absolutely fantastic. We do it the old-fashioned way, where we uh, we put a, a great big cauldron out behind the museum. We tap our own maple trees, do it just the way the pioneers would have. So, Kate, as you're driving up, you can't help but notice the snowshoe snowshoe trail signs. Can you tell us a little bit more about the snowshoeing in the area? Definitely. Well, we have a fantastic program that's the brainchild of uh, Andrea Mueller, who's our Municipal Recreation Coordinator. So the idea is that people can try out snowshoeing for free. Because a lot of people, they're, they're sort of debating, you know, is snowshoeing for them? Is that something they want to make a real hobby? Um, and we're also noticing a lot of uh, people who used to be avid skiers, as they get a little older, they're, they're not sure about skiing anymore, so they want to try snowshoeing. So we have, I would say, probably 25 pairs of snowshoes that we loan out for free. That's wonderful. Yeah, it really is. It's fantastic that we can offer it. And there are gorgeous snowshoe trails which run right up behind the museum. There's a couple of kilometers of trails, so it's a nice way to give it a little dabble. You can find out what styles of snowshoes you like, try out snowshoes in different terrain, and go exploring the trails, all within the, within the, the safety and comfort of, of Glebe Park. So it's not like you're, you're going off bush crashing by yourself. You know, I can't believe in all the years I've lived in Halliburton, I really didn't know of all the programs and the events that the museum put on. So, uh, great job. Thanks so much for telling us uh, a little bit about um, everything the museum has to offer and look forward to uh, hearing and seeing more. Fantastic. Thank you for coming.